Prayer Life of Jehoshaphat. When will a king do when his enemies are coming to attack him? He will invite the officials of his army to sketch their plan to attack. Three kingdoms came together to attack Judah. Do you know when Jehoshaphat the king of Judah did? He decreed all the people of Judah including children should observe a fast and pray. When we pray amid difficulties, we should have lamented to God about our situation go to free. But Jehoshaphat prayers was different. He started his prayer with praise. Not only that, he humbled himself and surrendered to God and saying, "For we are powerless against this huge army that attacked us." Lord we humble yourself before you. we look unto your your help Jehoshaphat was powerful and well he humbled before God when we humble before God the grace of the Lord is coming upon us God replied to his prayer the battle is not yours but God's my dear friend when we humble before God and pray in the trouble like Jehoshaphat able to humble your surrender yourself to God like Jehoshaphat and think humble yourself before the Lord and he will lift you up according to James 4:10 let us humble before the Lord and receive grace from the Lord God bless you God bless you Jacob the promise winner Every new year we curiously wait to receive God's promises. We pray for it and receive it. But why God's promise is not fulfilled in my life? Sometimes we may think that God forgotten his promise which he promised us. There was a man in the Bible named Jacob. God has promised him great blessings. and to receive those blessings he had to overcome difficulties and situations jacob said to god i will not let you go unless you bless me god named him israel because he had a struggle with the men and god and overcome as a result not only jacob was blessed also his entire generation was blessed We receive the promises of God but we are not ready to study with man or God and to study with the devil not ready to pray and study with God are you still upset about unfulfilled promises are you ready to fight circumstances like Jacob is we ready to receive God's promises let us wait for the promises one will fake them that he promised for us according to his word hebrew 10:23 he is faithful one who promised for us let us be blessed through his promises and wait and receive all his promises to fulfill in our life pray life of chebas first chronicles 4:10 do people call you fit for nothing Do people avoid you saying you bring bad luck to them Is your name spoiled everywhere There was a man in the Bible with similar problem just like you His name is Jeremiah Do you know the meaning of his name Jeremiah means bitterness born in pain In those days a person defined by his name but Jabez did not want to lead a life but he prayed to God the way his name detailed So he prayed that God hand should be with him and upon him and keep him from him from all harm from the world and he will be free from pain He also prayed with faith specifically asked God to bless him and in lord is territory god heard his prayer and did like that and god blessed him with the joy and peace just like job was your might your life might be sorrowful and you might have pain and bad name and 
broken his heart right now people may abuse you don't worry anymore just like jebus the god of jebus is with you as god just like jebus may god grant your blessings from now on board eagles separate a life do you know eagles are always lives in a life not like other birds eagle lives in the heights of the mountains eagle lives and separate from other birds eagle builds always its own nest in the highest place not like other birds his own place there is much more eagle is expert flyer flying eagle to aeroplane in the midst of clouds none now other birds can fly to that height even though an eagle lives in this world he lives life which is separate from this world just like an eagle we also live in this world but should not be of the world we need to live all the world things like agony anger jealousy pride lust sin and so on we need to understand that we are chosen vessel of god and god has chosen us in shed blood for us to live a separate life from this world why do you think like a crow just like fly like that when you can soar like an eagle you can fly like an eagle and always desire to live a holy life for the lord and he shall bless you do not conform to the pattern of this world but be transformed by the renewing of your mind do not conform then you will be able to test and approve what god will is romans 12:2